God does some of his best work when you are asleep. That is, in the dark. He does his best work when you don't think he's doing a thing. He's behind the scenes, working it out. I have a plan, and it's a good one. Maybe you should have gotten it earlier in your life. Maybe you should. Maybe if you hadn't done this or done that or gone here or gone there, then maybe you would have gotten it early. Maybe if you'd have gotten saved earlier, you would have known me earlier, you would have had the plan. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe if you hadn't married out of my will or if you hadn't traveled out of my will or you hadn't been in rebellion, maybe you would have gotten it early. And I know you wish you could turn back the hands of time and make it happen all over again. And I know you feel like you've been in this thing too long. And I know you don't know how much longer it's going to take to get out of it. But still, with all your questions, I have a plan for you. And I know what it is. And it's a good one. And it will give you a future. And it will give you a hope. You don't know which way to go? Seek him. You're in pain? Seek him. You're confused? Seek him. You're tired of waiting? Seek him. If you come and ask me, I'm going to send you back to him because he has not told me his plan. A lot of us have a picture, but we can't see a plan. So we wonder whether it's going to produce anything. God says, I have the plan. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ put up the paper for the plan and he who has begun a good work in you shall continue it until the day of redemption what God starts God finishes what God begins God ends what God initiates God completes but you say I'm in a mess you don't know my mess you don't know my God And if you forget the sermon, remember the verse. I have a plan for you. Not for calamity or bad, but for good. And it involves your future. It's full of you.